I do not know any history of the Woodley Park, but I'm very impressed the fact that they have cricket fields here. In the end, it's, it is stressful. <laughs> Watching the play, uh, kids play cricket is always stressful. I feel like we've come along a long way. Obviously, we came from opponents. Like I played this team before. I was an opponent for most of the time, and now I'm on it. So I think it's been a great journey for a lot of us. Um, I think like the friendships I've made with this team are like really good. Um, I've become really close friends with a lot of players on this team. It's the third one. Uh, we've been to Maryland together. We had two over there. This is the third one. Let them learn from the kids too, so they will enjoy it. So it's like, you know, everything we cannot teach, but they learn from the friends, so that's a good thing. How to be a team player. Um, like, if you don't, like, say, get to bat or bowl, but your team still wins, that's still a success, right? Mm -hmm. It's definitely not, like, a loss for you, but that's, it teaches you how to be, like, a team player. Yeah, it takes you how to swallow losses, swallow the tough ones. It teaches you how you have to take the hardships on. Like, sometimes you get hit, sometimes you get out. Doesn't matter, you have to keep going. Focus on the next one. Yeah, we played throughout the year. We barely have an off season, maybe like one month max. Uh, we are in LA, and this is our, I think, fourth year here. And uh, our kids are playing together for more than four years. The thing we just always talk about the bonding with the kids, how they're growing up since the last four years. It's just like it's not only the team they are growing up, just like their own brother. They have a good bond. It's like 11, 12 kids. We go every year. I think it's twice a year. And we are like one family now. I think this uh, these tournaments have taught them a lot about team spirit, sportsmanship, and thinking beyond themselves and yeah. thinking for the team. Um, I think it's so important for their growth. Uh, lots of fitness. You'll get really fit. And uh, you, you're out. You're outside all the time. Your eyes like won't get hurt from watching too many screens. Yeah, a lot of outdoor time. Also, like there's lots. Of, you have to use your mind a lot in cricket, so it really builds your mind, and you you think of many things in a different way, which will help you in later in life. So one thing I always tell my boys and and, and my son as well uh, is that you know take uh, cricket as a curriculum. Uh, you have to think as like mathematic or a science. You have to take it as a curriculum, um, like how much you pay attention to like your addition, subtractions and stuff like that, or algebra. You, you have to think about like a bowling is, is, is one syllabus, right? Batting is another syllabus, fielding is another. So you take it as a curriculum and you put good effort, I think you'll do well. Prioritize the kids. I know that MSCL likes to prioritize the adults and their games, <laughs> but the pitches need to really be for the next generation of cricketers that are going to advance through the ranks and really they will be the players who will play for America one day. In future. So think about the foundation, not about the structure. You need to have an infrastructure dedicated for cricket so that just practicing once a week or twice a week is not going to help because when we were playing back home, we used to practice twice a day. We want cricket to be the recognized sports in, in high schools. If that happens, uh, we'll get a lot of support. Um, in terms of, you know, like, I mean, the kids will have, will, will take it a bit more seriously, I would say. It's just camaraderie, team, working with the team, and then some people, or taking a leadership in any aspect of, like, either be fielding or, bow, like, you know, bowling or batting. Uh, so, I think the takeaway from any organized sport, any team event, is the same. Uh, cricket is a non-contact sport. So it's more about leadership and how you listen to others and how you play with the team. Um, so, we, so we're getting there. Uh, it's better than before. Like, you know, th five years ago, we don't have this many tournaments, like maybe one, right? But now we're playing like four tournaments in a year away from the home ground. That's actually better. So I would say it's improving, but it can be even more aggressive, I would say. Yeah. I can look at the schedule and even come as just a bystander and enjoy a game of cricket. I know it's youth level, it's not the level we see in international cricket, but it just makes me smile, it brings joy. It brings back memories, childhood memories too. I think they're getting better and better every year. Um, they're learning from what they've done and uh, it's just perfect. I think they're just perfect. Hopefully when we get an outdoor field, we're gonna actually make them play games and scenario based practices where when they go and play the game they're more confident in that way. 
we got a leadership team and we basically talk to them about the game plan we kind of teach them um, uh, if you are on top how do you go about playing making sure you get them all out quickly if you are struggling how to encourage the kids uh, with respect to their batting and stuff so some of our kids already playing in msl and they are doing really good as well cricket is the second biggest sport in the world uh, only second to soccer it teaches you humility working together uh, understanding each other differences strengths and weaknesses and playing as a team uh, the most important thing is uh, for me at least is cricket gives you friends outside of your circle so this is not going to only help you play a game as as you move forward as well it's going to help you in life as well thanks you in weekend our u17 team went to la uh to play the tournament how much did we just play four games yeah. and then we had two man of the matches and two 50s and a four wicket drop Good job guys good job Next is the turn for two batsmen who scored their uh, 50s Rishi Arush coach Priya Raj Raj Pretty much this uh, tournament, I guess. So, thank you. Yeah, it was a great performance. <laughs> <laughs> great job, guys.